guys, I'm smoking a cigarette. I know I smoke. I don't want to talk about it. It's probably a bad thing. I'm gonna start talking about my amazing new shoes. Sham, sham, sham. Give me my amazing new shoes. The poll's not about my shoes. The poll is actually about that stupid fucking article. If you guys haven't seen, it's going around. It says, um, can you guys do me a favor? I want to make sure you can hear me because I'm on my earbuds. Can you hear me? First of all, whoever's watching right now, yes or no? Just put a yes or a no. So my question is this. I saw this article going around and everybody's asking my opinion about it and it goes on to read that some man in some other state is um, actually older than he is, but he said he feels younger, so he wants to be respected as that. Now, I'm reading the comments and I'm kind of going crazy with it because of a couple of things. I'll tell you why. Here's why. <laughs> Sorry. Here's why. The reason why I'm going crazy with this situation is because, you know, Facebook. The reason why I'm going crazy with this situation is because, um, not only is a lot of people asking me to comment on it and talk about it, but I want to also reiterate that um, in America we are equal. And if you live in a country that's completely equal, I want you guys to know that if you make a rule or if you make an accepting choice and you accept somebody for something, you have to accept everybody for that. Now, what are we going to do if we accept this and we say, let him live his life? Like I've been seeing people say like idiots, uneducated buffoons is what I call them. Tell me what the fuck you think about what if a child who's 16 says, I feel like I should have been born years ago. I feel like I'm 21. Does this mean we have to sell that child alcohol now? Because we have to accept it and be afraid of leftists coming after us? Or will the leftists say that's too far, but this one isn't? What makes it okay? And if it is okay, at what age do you feel it is okay to say you are trans age? At what age is that okay? Hmm? Is there rules? Is there um, regulations on this? No. So why is this even something we're fucking even debating about? Like, I heard there's a woman also in North Dakota who is um, transable. If you don't know what transable is, transable is um, when you believe that you should have been born handicapped, but you're not. So she put literally, okay, this is a true story, guys. I'm embarrassed to even say this. It happened last year. She put, she put um, hot sauce in her eyes because she says that she feels like she should have been born blind. Now, there's another man, um, I think it's in like, I'm not, not sure what to say. I want to say West Virginia, but don't quote me on that one. But he walks around with crutches because he said he should have been born in a wheelchair. He's not. So how far is too far? Hi. I'm live. There's a lot of people watching. Say hi. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I just want to know how far is too far. And if you guys think that this, I put a poll up there so you guys can definitely, um, you guys can vote on that and tell me what you guys believe on this in, in the situation because I think it's gone crazy. Like, I'm for trans people, but um, I think whoever just clicked, I mean, let them be happy. I have that question for you. Do you believe if they should just be happy? What do we do when a 16 year old tells us I should have been born earlier and I feel like I'm actually 21, but I'm trapped in a 16 year old's body? Do we sell that person alcohol to let them be happy? Do we let that child make their own decisions? Do we let them move out? And do we let them tell their parents to fuck off because we should let them be happy like you're saying? Hey, you're not old enough to use that language. <laughs> or are you? Or exactly. Are you? If a child says, I should feel like I'm 21, do we treat them as 21? Now, I'm for, again, I'm for trans people. I'm not against trans people at all. I, in fact, I have very many trans close friends and family members. So i not real blood family, but I consider them family. And my question being, again... Should we let trans age be a thing? And should we let trans able be a thing? And should we let trans species be a thing? Should it be in like a, 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 a family basis? Like should the family decide or should it be? What, yeah, exactly. And, and if you do support this and let that man just be happy because he thinks that his age is um, wrong, he thinks he should be younger. Um, I, I mean, I think I should be younger. I just turned 30. <laughs> I think I should be younger. Should I make you guys respect me as a 21 year old like I did every single birthday for the past 10 years? I had, a, just so you guys know, my birthday party, jokes, this is a joke, my birthday party every year I had an annual 21st, after my 21st, so I stopped that at my 27th birthday party, I had a um, 27 club birthday party, but before my 27th birthday party, I had an annual birthday party, so every year was like my second annual 21st birthday party, my third annual 21st birthday party, fourth annual 21st birthday party, I did that every single year, but I knew it was a joke, and I know I wasn't really feeling that kind of way, I, I wanted it, so this guy who says that, he feels like he needs to be respected as this. I, I will tell you this much. It's stupid. It's retarded. I don't even know why it's even talked about right now. Why is this even a thing? 
But all I do know is that it's serious enough for this man to be in an article. It's serious enough for this man to be talked about. It's serious enough for us to be debating on if we accept him or not. That's alarming. That's fucking alarming. And if this is an accepted thing, then be American about it. Accept it all. You can't discriminate. So again, if a child comes to you and says they believe they should have been 21, do you sell them alcohol? Do you give them cigarettes? Do you let them leave school? And is it statutory rape if they have sex with somebody their own age? There's a lot of things that can come into question here that nobody's thinking about. I think it's fucking insane to me that anybody would even consider accepting this man for his trans age. I think that if you are a trans person on this planet, you should be very offended by this because they're watering down the very fight you guys have struggled to get across to the other Americans, and that is to accept you. I think all real trans people deserve love, acceptance, and they deserve to be able to go down their journey the way they feel, because they're American, you can choose your own lifestyle. But this is when I draw a line. And I don't feel like I'm the only one who should be drawing a line here, I feel like all of you guys should be drawing the same line. I don't understand how any of you guys are supporting this, and if you are supporting this, I want to know why. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know why you believe this man should be respected for the age that he says he wants to be. And then think about the guy coming from Canada. There's a guy in Canada right now, as we speak, who says that he feels like he should be a five-year-old girl. No. Now, I've heard of these situations in sexual settings where some people like want to be treated as a baby kind of thing, but which is weird. But I will tell you, there's a man from Canada, as we speak, saying that he wants to be treated and live as a five-year-old girl. He wants to wear little dresses and he wants people to treat him as a five-year-old girl. When do we draw a line here? When is that okay? And if you think it's funny that that man who's 35 years old wants to be a little girl, and do you wanna know what's scary, not funny? People are accepting him. But again, we're American, not Canadian. If you wanna accept something like that, then you must accept it going both ways. So tell me, if you accept a man who says he should be five, if you accept a man who's 50 who says he should be 40, then why would you not accept a child who's 10 who says they should be 21? I'm asking for a friend. And if you are trans, how do you feel about this? I personally think that if you're trans, you should be pissed about this. The whole situation is mental health issues. I, I do believe all of them are. But in fact, even gender dysphoria is a mental condition. But there's a cure. If they've tried every single other form to cure you of your gender dysphoria, the cure is transsexuality, to transition to the sex you want to be. That's the, considered the cure. If it was not considered a mental disorder, doctors would not perform the transsexuality um, sex change in um, America. The reason why we support hormone therapy and sex changes in America is because of the fact that it is a cure to gender dysphoria. That being said, yes, they're all mental disorders. But when do we draw a line in society as of which ones we want to accept and which ones we don't? And although his seems innocent because he is a man who's in his 60s who says he should be in his 40s, it seems like we should accept that. But should we now be um, biased and only accept him and not others? Should we only accept one of our trans friends and not the rest? Should we um, discriminate on some and not others? And if so, which ones should you believe we should discriminate on? I'm a little confused. I think that um, as a country who believes in equality for all and believes that people should be able to live the lifestyle they want, I do believe that there comes um, there comes um, there comes structure and there's lines there you shouldn't cross. And I think that some of those things are considered um, I don't know common sense, like trans age. I think that if I was a trans person, I'd be highly offended by somebody using my transsexuality to use on their age, or on their ableness, or on their um, species, or on their fucking race. Like that bitch, who you all know and hear about all the time, who says that she should've been born black. Or that new girl, who was just on Dr. Phil, who says she should've been born white. At what time do we go too far, and at what time does this trans community stand up and have our backs for once, and stand against things that are watering down their struggle. I think the time is now. I think that if you are trans, this should piss you the fuck off. 
Because I'm not trans and it pisses me the fuck off. I do not want my child, first of all, to be brought up in a world, to be brought up in a world where people are choosing their own age, their own race. It's, they're, choosing, they're choosing their own sex and that's a big enough debate for us to handle. And I'm not saying you can't do trans age because we can't handle it. I'm saying we shouldn't do trans age because it's not reality. That's what I'm saying. And I think that uh, we've gone too far. If this situation has got so far to where the man is in an article, he's in a, uh, in a debate, and we are talking about this through political platforms, I think it's gone too far. I think that the second he walked outside and said he felt like he was another age, anybody who didn't laugh and the first person said they accept him, you're the, you're the problem. <laughs> you're the reason why this is so horrible. And I don't want to say to my child in the future that I contributed to a country that pushed such horrible, horrible agendas like trans age or trans able or trans species or trans race. I think that um, at that point also you have to remember we don't discriminate in America. So if you're going to support this old man saying he's a younger old man, then you must support a child who says they are now an adult. You must support that 19-year-old who went to jail for fucking that 17-year-old. Remember that basketball player that lost his scholarship? You must support him then. What if he just comes out and says he felt like he was 17 during the time? And to all you people, this is just as dumb to me as the people trying to add the P to LGBT. It was dumb enough that we added a fucking Q and shit. Like, come on now. Adding a P for pedophilia, calling it a ped pedosexual... I'll tell you one thing, though. The gays were pissed when that happened. We stood up against it. Trans people, say something. This is bullshit. I don't like seeing this. I don't enjoy reading this. I don't enjoy talking about this. And I feel stupid and like I lost brain cells debating this. To explain somebody, to explain to another human being, a grown-ass adult, what reality actually is, makes me feel so stupid it makes me lose so much more faith in this country. Let's stop having these conversations that are make-believe, that are not reality, and that are stupid. Not for us, but for our children at least. I get that we should accept people, but come the fuck on, homie. I will accept you for your reality. If you are trans, there's a cure to your reality. Unfortunately, you are the sex you do not want to be until you have that surgery. But baby, until you have that surgery, Again, unfortunately, you are the sex you don't want to be. I'm not going to escape reality. I'm not going to change that. I can't. Biology and evolution did that for us. I'm not going to sit here and make believe that you are something you are not. Now, as a friend, I will respect you for the person you want to be in the future, the person you're transitioning to become. But until you take that first hormone shot, baby, don't expect us all to fall in line. It ain't going to work that way. And that's for transsexuality. So to have it, the conversation goes so deep to now we're talking about trans age, trans able, trans race, and trans species, motherfuckers. This has gone too far. Trans people, you want to be accepted? Speak out about this. They're watering down your struggle. They're watering down your celebrations. They're watering down your cause. They're watering down your community that you just formed. They're watering down the rights you just fought for. They're making them seem stupid, making them seem make-believe, and making them seem like they're unreal. So if you are trans, I really hope you're speaking out against this. If you're trans and you're supporting this, don't be surprised when people don't support you. Because if you all trans people say that this is normal, then I will not vote any rights for people who think that trans age, trans fucking able, or trans species, or trans race is normality. Although they are mental issues, some of them are just fucking retarded. I'm just going to say that. Because just like, I wish I could sugarcoat it and make it a little more professional than that. But you can't fucking dress up dog shit and put sprinkles on it and expect it to look like something else. It's still dog shit. I'm not going to eat it. So, y'all can eat your little ice cream all you want because I ain't going to do it. And um, I think it's fucking incredibly crazy. Um, oh, hi, Rick. Um, I never really read the comments yet, but I did see Rick. Come on, Rick. Hey, baby. I see you. 
So Rick said, um, are you talking about them changing to young? I'm not talking about trans people changing to young. It's not about trans people. My only thing that I'm saying to trans people is that you need to speak out against this trans age issue. I'm talking about the article that's floating around right now. There, first of all, the fact that there was an article written means it already went too far. There's a man who's in his 60s who says that he feels like he's in his 40s. He wants to be respected as, a 40, as in his 40s. Well, a lot of people are saying, let them be happy. A lot of people are saying we should respect them. But also a lot of people say we should have things like equality in this country, Rick. So I believe in this country, if we're going to accept him, then who are we to say a child who's 16, who now wants to be respected as a 21-year-old, should we, should we sell them alcohol? And if you're a person who supports this man's trans age, then support all trans age. Just like saying I support one transsexual but not another. It's kind of wrong, isn't it? So, I think trans age is bullshit. But, um, am, I, am I talking about them changing too young? Would you mean the trans age people ch changing too young? I mean, at this, at this point, is there a age limit? Or is there a um, normality for when you're supposed to transition when you're... Like, we can talk about transsexual, and I can tell you, when you're 18, to, when you want to make a life-changing adult decision, you should probably be, be an adult. So I think if a child wants to practice with androgyny because they think they're trans, let them. Can't hear me well. But I do believe if you are a person who thinks that a child should make a decision like um, there's sex before they can even make a decision on driving or a decision on how late to stay out at night or a decision um, that they won't regret. Like, we've all been teenagers. We all regret things when we were teenagers. I have your name tattooed on my ass because I thought Jackass was never going to go away. I thought Steve-O was God, bitch. I was like, steve was always going to be here. I love Jackass. I was 14 years old, and now I have your name tattooed on my ass. I am proof that reminder on my fucking ass cheek is a reminder to all of us and to all of you that we should not let children make decisions that are life-changing, like transsexuality. So yes, there is something already in place for children who are transsexual. We do not let children transition or do surgeries until they're 18 years old, which is normality. So now back to the issue at hand, the trans age issue. There's nothing out there by law that says when it's able to happen. There's nothing out there by law that says what's socially acceptable to accept when a person um, is trans age. But I will tell you this. If you support this man who is 16 and says he's 40, then I suggest you support every 10-year-old who now wants to buy alcohol because I feel like they should be 21. I grew up really fast. I wanted to be respected as an adult. I was rebellious because I wasn't respected as an adult. I did whatever the fuck I wanted. I did not, nobody could tell me what to do when I was a kid. Should I have just been left alone? Why did I go to juvenile hall twice? Why did I have to do all the bullshit I dealt with? If you guys should have just respected the fact that I said I was a grown-ass man when I said I was a grown-ass man. Do you know who that grown-ass man? I Yes, I did. I said I was a grown-ass man. That same boy who said he was a grown-ass man also got your name tattooed on his ass because he thought Jackass was going to be there forever. And he was obsessed with Steve-O because Steve-O was hot. I'm sorry, he was hot. But now, as somebody who's 30 years old, wanting to get married, I have a reminder on my ass cheek every day of something I did as a teenager that I regret that I cannot take away. So, what do you think about trans age? What do you think about trans able? What do you think about trans, um, trans anything? Like, if you, this, again, this discussion is not really a trans sexual discussion, but if you want to bring that to the table, bring it to the table, let's talk about it. But my main issue here is this trans age article. My main issue here is the fact that I'm seeing a lot of people say, let him be and let him be who he wants to be. If he's 60 and said he wants to feel 40, respect him as that. I refuse. I'm not going to respect him as that. What message are we sending to our kids? I want to be 16. I want to be, I just turned 30, bitch. I would, I would turn back to clock any day. I, I want to be 18. Respect me as an 18 year old. Actually, I don't want to be 18 because then none of you guys would respect me at all. Like this, let's be real. Let's be real, bitch. 18 year olds think they know everything, but they don't know shit. It wasn't until I was 23 that I woke up and they was like, damn, I don't know nothing. But when I was 18, bitch, I knew everything. I knew it all. I knew it all. I knew Jackass was going nowhere. <laughs> you know, so, um. Amen, Rick. A fucking men. Rick is a parent, a gay parent. Yeah. And Rick right. even says he doesn't think any young child should change anything until they're 18. I don't believe they should either. I believe that if you are an adult, you can make adult decisions in this country. 
I do believe if you're a child, you should not be in a position to make any life-changing adult decision that you cannot go back on. Because you are not. You know? Yeah. Which tattoo do you want to see, baby? I have so many. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I really wish that people would just stop with this trans thing. And even more, I wish that the trans community would speak the fuck up and out about this. Because I'll tell you one thing. When you guys thought we were going to add the P to LGBT, I spoke out against it. I don't want to be associated with pedophiles. I don't think it has any association to do with being gay. But I also will tell you, I spoke out because it watered down my situation of being accepted as a gay man. Trans people, speak the fuck out. We are watering down your change. We are watering down the acceptance that you have worked so hard to gain by letting people be transracial trans age, trans able, and I hate to say it, I, I, I feel so dumb even saying this, but trans species, like bitch, bitch, like this is a whole new category of stupid, a whole new category of stupid, I think that six year old man wants to be 40, that's cute, bitch, I want to be 21, but it's not reality, sorry six year old, you will still die in the next 30 years, not in the next 40 or 50, I'm sorry. It's not reality. Um, evolution doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. Um, facts don't give a fuck about your feelings. Reality doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. So stop saying you feel you should be respected. And it's simply it's crazy that I've been talking here for about 20 fucking minutes and still on that poll, 45% of the people will say, uh, duh, like, I'm right. Like, uh, uh, bitch, uh, we, I am right. Let's just make shit up. You know, I want to I wanna have a, I want to fly tomorrow. I'm a, I'm a flying I'm a fucking bird. I'm a bird. No, I'm a jaguar, bitch. I'm a, I want to be a jaguar. From now on, I'm going to be Jaguar. <laughs> if any of you think that's stupid, oh, I, accept you. I expect that 55% on this poll who said, I mean, let them be happy, will stand up for me when I say I am now a Jaguar. I want to be respected as one. I think I'm also in danger, in danger so none of you guys can come for me anymore. And the guy who sent me that fucking message saying you're going to put a bullet in my head, you can't do that anymore because now I'm in danger. How dumb do we have to sound, you guys? Because to me, trans age sounds just as stupid as that. That bitch who says she feels like she should have been born black. That little girl on Dr. Phil who says she feels like she should have been born white. Bitch, I feel like I should be fucking... I feel like I should have the like best body. I feel like I should be the prettiest girl. I feel like I should be the prettiest boy all at the same time. You know what I mean? I feel like I should be the best fucking human being on the planet. I feel like you guys all should worship me, in fact. In, fa in fact, I feel like I'm Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> should you guys respect me as that now? Mm -hmm. Praise him. Praise me, bitch. <laughs> And yes, Jesus Christ is bitch now. Because I'm Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So if I'm the Virgin Mary. you think... What, what, what is too far, you guys? What is too far? I think what already went too far was the fact that there was an article written about him. I think that went too far. I think it's too far that the um, trans community is not really speaking out against this. I think that's too far. I think it's extremely too far that people are accepting this. No wonder why Hillary has supporters. No wonder. No wonder why Democrats love, 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 love stupid people. They're running out stupid people because people are waking up, they're becoming smart. Blexit. Black people are waking up, they're becoming smart, they don't have the black vote anymore. So now they're fighting to have let illegal vote. People who don't know how to make good decisions in life, people who are felons, who made bad decisions, ended up in prison. We want them to decide our votes. We want them to decide our elections. Because they have such a track record of making good decisions, don't they? Hmm. Is there anything the Democrats will not do? I, 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 I should shut up about that. Actually, because I'll eat my fucking words because they will do something crazier than this. This is nothing. I bet this is nothing. I bet this is nothing. I'm kind of in, intrigued. What's going to happen next? Oh, hi. Look at my beautiful boyfriend. Mm. Mm. My man is um, trans uh, gift. Is that mine? Trans gifts you all. Yay. <laughs> I'm part-time Santa Claus. He's part-time Santa Claus. He's yeah, trans yeah. Santa. Ooh, he's trans holiday, bitch. <laughs> if I'm trans holiday and I'm Halloween, but I want to be respected as Christmas, will y'all do it? I feel like we should have Halloween on Christmas. And I feel like we should respect that because that's my feelings. Sounds like a song. I stole it from a song because I'm not, I'm not that dumb, so I don't know how to <laughs> think in dumb terms. So I had to get a song lyric, okay, guys? Yes, I was caught. <laughs> 
I'm so annoyed, but so entertained. Like, it's entertaining. Like, when I read the article, I laughed. I was like, ha ha And I, I finished the article. By the end of it, I was still laughing. And I was like, but nobody else is laughing with me. And then I read the comments on the article and was like, holy shit. A lot of people support this. Oh. My. Blob. That's. There's so much what I'm on here talking about. I don't talk about stupid things. You guys know that. I, 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 put, I condemn stupid things really easily. It's Peter. My friend Peter, he's from New York. How you doing? It's Peter. Rick said, who's that big queen talking in the background? <laughs> <laughs> he a little queen. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who's this from? My name's Diamond. This is a um, package that um, doesn't have a... It's from Custom Service Fulfillment Center in Valencia Avenue, Tustin, California. This is a bomb? We checked it. This is a bomb? This is an unmarked package come being sent to me? Oh, I had um, Okay, guys. True story. So my birthday party's happening. Hey, like, hey, it was my birthday party. And look at all my gifts over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, I got a gift, right? So I thought. Because I know some of my some of my fans and stuff, some of you guys sent me gifts, which is amazing. Thank you so much for the gifts you guys are sending me. And you guys have sent me. I love the cards. I love all of it. It's so amazing to know I have so much support with um, all the ostracization I went through with my actual community here and all the th- loneliness I felt when everybody like l- like left me for like they didn't really leave me. They kind of beat me down and left me for the fucking dogs. But all of you guys have come to my fucking like aid and been so supportive of me and so good to me when I thought I had nobody. So thank you guys so much. So I'm not discrediting any of the gifts I'm getting. But um, know that I did get an, un- an unmarked box sent to me on my birthday. And um, I was opening my presents and I saw this box. It was unmarked. And I was, I was, I thought like, oh, how do I say this? This is how pathetic the world has become. I really was nervous. Like I legitly was nervous. And everybody at my party that was here, there was like 20 people, and they were like, open it outside, open it. And they were all scared. They were scared. Because if motherfuckers are being so dumb out there. I bet you the bitch who sent bombs to everybody, I bet you that motherfucker also supports trans age. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think it takes an idiot to know an idiot, so I'm just saying they might be, even be friends. They might be related. Who the fuck knows? But anyways, I opened that unmarked package, and I was so nervous. Everybody was, it was such a big deal in front of all my friends, because we were doing the gift thing, and... It was my fucking Apple Airbot, AirPods. T-Mobile, can you start fucking, or Apple, can you start marking your packages? Cause like, bitch. No, because then people would steal them. Yeah. Well, if you, if you buy Apple from Apple, you probably have money, which means you're probably Republican, which means you probably are gonna get an unmarked package to your house, which means you're probably gonna be a little scared right now. At least if you're somebody like me who speaks out against shit. Because I get a lot of death threats, bitch. People say they're gonna put bullets in my motherfucking head. And all of a sudden I get an unmarked package, like, Apple, you better say something. Put an Apple on it or something, let me know. Oh, they can't put an apple on it because that's right, because people will steal it. I wonder what side will steal it. Hmm. So I'm going to open this unmarked package. It doesn't feel like a bomb. <laughs> it's always something weird. It's probably something I ordered. Who the fuck knows? I don't, I don't think I'm expecting anything. I wasn't trying to open gifts with all you guys on the I'm not live, but... Yay, it's my birthday still. It's my birthday until I say it's not. I'm not getting off this live video until that trans fucking poll, duh, uh, duh, or face palm too much goes above the I mean let them be happy. Because if 52% of you motherfucking people watching my motherfucking video really fucking believes that trans age should be accepted, then I expect you all to sell alcohol to the next 10 year old who says they're 21. And if you won't do that, then fucking vote, bitch. I want to see that fucking poll. I'm not getting off this. Because here's the thing, when you're live and you need to make a poll, when you get off the live, the poll stays the same. I'm not going to sit here and be embarrassed and I'm not, um, maybe I'm going to be embarrassed. Maybe our country is stupid. Maybe you guys are fucking retarded. Maybe all seven of you people right now, just like when, maybe all of you guys are stupid as fuck. When I order things, I follow the tracking of it too. I really do. But um, like I said, people have been ordering things for me because I've been getting a lot of gifts in the mail. I've been getting a lot of people's support, um, letters and um, I got family sending me things that are like, um, thank you so much for like helping me and my family get closer together. I get things from gay Republicans all the time who are saying, I just want to say thank you. I've been getting things a lot from people, which I appreciate again wholeheartedly. I think it's amazing. And, um, <gasps> Connie. 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 
Connie. Hi, Connie. Okay, so Connie is my friend from South Africa who is now an American citizen. Woo! And she's on the right. She's amazing. And she um, went to South Africa to visit her family. She saw the horribleness that's going on there and the murders that are happening with the white farmers and stuff because it's the exact opposite of the way it is in America. They hate white people because white people are the minority there. Big, long story. But anyways, she went there for, to visit her family. And she came back and shut her eyes wide open to the the amazingness of America and how grateful she is to be here with her and her kids and how she realized even though her heart is in South Africa and how much she loves South Africa, she'll never be able to live there with her husband and her children. And that really opened up my eyes to see that um, people think people on the right are just redneck hillbillies. No, we come from all walks of life. And I'm not just some crazy gay who's just joining like the white supremacist. What it is is there's people from all walks of life and immigrants from other countries who are all on the right as well. Thank you. Just saying. But Connie... Oh my god. Connie told me look out in the mail because I'm sending you something. And look at this shirt. She always says, I'm an adorable deplorable. And she put monsters in a red basket. I think the symbolism of the shirt is amazing. I'm a size small though. But I'll still wear it. I like to wear things really cute and like half my size so it like shows my belly button. I'm a whore. But not a real one. But this shirt's amazing. Isn't that cute? It says adorable deplorable. It says I'm an, an adorable deplorable and it shows a bunch of monsters in a bag because we are the monsters. You know when somebody says, I remember that movie The Craft when they said, you girls be careful out there. There's weirdos out. And the girl looks at him and goes, we are the weirdos, mister. Well, that's my whole life story, bitch. Hi. But yeah, this is so cute. I done did hit the done 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 one. <laughs> yes, I love that. So um, you a fucking here. Keep on it. The fuck is fifty five percent saying? I think that's doing to fucking make me pissed off at this point. Whatever. If you guys want to look like fucking idiots, then look like fucking idiots. Because as soon as I'm done with this live, I get to see who the fuck voted for what, and I will call bitches out, bitch. I know y'all like my shout outs. I know y'all like my shout outs. Um, that one Han guy who fucking says don't shoot me in the head, and the other bitch I called out yesterday. I've been calling out bitches left and right because. Well, I've been calling bitches left and left because <laughs> y'all bitches need to know who to look out for out there. These um, American terrorists. Just saying. But, um, yeah, so thank you so much, Connie, for the show. That's really awesome. But I think the trans thing has gone too far. I think we definitely, definitely, definitely should not support that. Whoever wrote the article should be fired from their job. Because if you have a position like that and you're writing articles about people like that, like, are you bored? Are you bored, bitch? Because there's a lot of issues going on in America. That are not make believe. Like, and if you're gonna write an article about that, why would you? Bitch, you should wrote an article about my unicorn party because unicorns, they're real. I'm gonna contact that writer. I'm gonna out him. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look him up. I'm gonna look him up. I'm gonna fucking out him. I'm gonna fucking go live on him. But speaking of that, let's out somebody right now. Hi, OC Weekly. Hi. Bitch. So if you guys see the OC Weekly, if you don't live in Orange County, I doubt you saw it, which a lot of Orange County people hate me. So, um, if you're watching, hey, bitch. But anyways, OC Weekly, they just did an article, uh, the new illustration on the cover of OC Weekly, where they showed a Trump rally at the pier where I live. And um, one of the people who sprayed themselves in the face with mace is wearing a shirt that says adorable deplorable. <laughs> Hi, I see you. That's a little fucked up, first of all. Second of all... Hi, I see you. So I think it's kind of fucked up that they're going to try to um, use that in that article when everybody knows damn well who the fucking adorable, deplorable is, bitch. Like the fuck? But don't worry. It won't happen again.